Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Robert. Welcome to the Gym Rat World, the spot where you can get fast and simple supplement reviews. Today, I'm going to be talking about BSN No Explode Pre-Workout. I'm sure you guys have heard of this one before. I'm going to make sure I cover the pros, the cons, some of the ingredients on here, and what people are actually saying about this. What BSN says is that this pre-workout is going to get you guys some energy and some endurance, uh, but we'll see about that. But first, before we begin, I just want you guys to know that you are in the right hands. I spent over a decade going to the gym, running, surfing, basically doing all sorts of things, fitness. I'm a former Marine as well, and I'm pretty much just going to take all my experience that I've had taking supplements, working out, things like that, and just get you guys this information in a nice bite-sized way, all right? I'm not going to sit here and read off the ingredient label to you, and you know, I'm pretty much here for those of you who just have better things to do today, all right? Because honestly, it should it shouldn't take so long to just get a supplement, all right? So I'm here for you guys who just have better things to do. I'm going to make this fast and simple for you, all right? So starting off, you know, again, this is BSN, no explode. So they've been around forever. I used to take this pre-workout back in the day. And honestly, I didn't like the ones that they had back in the day. There's um, kind of just tasted horrible and just wasn't too effective for me. Um, but they did come out with this um, no explode. They revamped the ingredients. They put some other things in there. It is worth noting that BSN still uses proprietary blends, so um, that is something to be aware of. Now I'm going to hit up some of these ingredients real fast for you guys. Now there's a whole bunch of ingredients in this one, all right? There's different matrixes, proprietary blends. I'm not going to go over all those for you, all right? If you need any of that information, I have it all down in the description box for you, and so you can get that information there, all right? Now moving on to one of the matrixes that is in there. They call this matrix the myogenic matrix. It's made up of 5.5 grams of basically just creatine. Um, it has a couple other things. I think there's just about 3.5 grams of creatine in there. So that's pretty good to know right off the bat is because creatine works. So that's a good thing to have in there. Um, another uh, matrix that they do have in there is they call it the Endura Shot. This one has beta alanine in there. So this, this is basically what's going to give you a little bit of tingling feeling. And it's also going to help with your endurance and that those more strenuous parts of your workout. So that's a good thing to have. It also has betaine in there as well. And betaine is going to help you out with just muscle and strength. betaine has been around for a while. It's been proven to work. So that's another good thing that's in there. This thing also has a whole bunch of different vitamins in here. It has um, pretty much just all kinds of stuff in there, right? You really got to check out the ingredients if you really want to know. But the things that I saw in there that matter to me is that it has caffeine, has 275 milligrams of caffeine, also has a beta alanine, it has a betaine, and it has creatine in there. That's all I really care about. I take multivitamins, so all the other stuff doesn't really matter to me, um, but it might matter to you. So again, check it out in the description if you need it. But other than that, the ones that I listed are like the main ones that are in there, all right? So um, moving on to what people are actually saying about this, it's kind of mixed reviews. This thing rates four stars out of five stars. Um, so it's kind of like right there as far as if it's a really good pre-workout or it's not. Um, one of the things I did see on what people are saying that are rating it very low is just the fact that it like it doesn't mix well as far as um, there's just some foam that comes up and they have to sit and wait for the foam. And oh my God, that's ridiculous, right? But that is one of the complaints that people are having. Other people are saying that they didn't like the taste as well. Um, but not too many people are saying it's not effective, right? It has 275 milligrams of caffeine in there. So it is going to work, you know, somewhat. That's a lot of caffeine. It's going to give you, at the very least, some energy to get up and get going into your workout, all right? And then the creatine that's in there, it's been proven to work. The beta alanine has been proven to work. And the betaine has been proven to work. So those are, like I said, those are the ones that I focus on. So as long as those are working around, I dig the product. And other people have said that it is effective. They have felt um, they've had more energy. They've gotten some more gains in the gym. And honestly, that's the reason why we get pre-workouts is to get some gains, get some energy, get up off the bed and get in there. So it seems like this product does work. Again, the reviews that I've seen that were negative were kind of irrelevant as far as the mixability and the taste and things like that. Um, but again, you should know your body, what you actually like. If any of the negatives I said are things that you really hate then obviously don't get this product right if you're more into a little bit of performance a little bit of a, a different taste and you know if you're into just having a decent amount of creatine in there as well then this one's probably for you right 
If you do want to pick this up, everything's in the description box for you. I got links. I got everything there for you guys, all right? I'll link up with Amazon so you guys get the best prices and the fastest delivery as well. You can get it in like two days, all right? And this uh, pre-workout's around like 40-ish dollars, all right? So it's not that, not too hard on the wallet or anything like that. Um, other than that, comment below if you guys have any questions whatsoever. Also, um, that's about it. You know, it was a pleasure coming to you guys today. I hope I made this fast and simple. Thanks for stopping by.